No, Rahul Gandhi, he uh, uh, he's a very bad ambassador for good-looking boys. Uh, so, ha, ha, uh, so there is, after all, a distinction between uh, character and beauty on a person's face. Uh, so, ha, uh, and I agree with you. I, I also feel that um, the way people Indians talk about Rahul Gandhi, it's like we are filled with very smart people, and yeah. as though this is, yeah. as though this country is filled with yeah. look uh, at the yeah. BJP B team. Yeah. Yeah. So I even I, and I think he's a man uh, with a moral compass and all that for whatever it's worth, but a bit uh, dull. Uh, how, how did you find him to photograph? Uh, he's yeah. Well, he's a great subject because he's very polite. He's very wonderful. Unlike some other political types, he's not full of himself. He gives you the time of the day. He listens to you, and so I actually, he's 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 just a very decent human being, and I think that became his biggest failing. Uh, in the politics of today, you know, there's no place for a decent man in Indian politics, and I'm not absolving him of a lot of other things. I just but is he interested in politics? Well, if he's been around for uh, so many years, you know, no, he better be interested in politics to some extent. This is a myth to say that he's not interested in politics. Well, no, Saurav Ganguly was also around, but I don't think he was interested in playing it. I'll, I'll be telling you, the Saurav Ganguly will be in the politics space in uh, not. So no, I'm saying that future. just because someone is around in a profession, it doesn't mean. Uh, I just wanted to your uh, your you insight. I'm, I'm not my, arguing with you, my but point, my point is that Rahul Gandhi at some stage believes that if he was to leave the Congress, and I really believe that's a possibility, Congress, the Congress party as it is today will implode because nobody likes anybody in the party. He is the common unifier. He, I, I mean, the Gandhi family is the unifying factor among them. So it's like. It's true. So I have a theory that the reason why the Gandhis uh, are so powerful in the Congress is not because they are Congress's best idea. It's because they are everyone's second best idea. So usually in life, in many aspects of life, the second best idea is more influential than the best idea because the best idea is you. But the second best idea is everybody's second best idea. I couldn't agree with you more. That is absolutely and defines everything about that. You think there are not bright people in the Congress party? Sure, there are a lot of bright people. By bright, I mean a lot of more diabolical, a lot of more clever, a lot of more slyer people. You know, I mean, but they all know. Let, let, let's be rather deal with the ones that I can deal with, and we can get away by doing. Who's the most diabolical person you've shot? No, I know where the question is heading, so I don't <laughs> think he's the most diabolical person I've shot. Okay. okay. No, no, I, I, even I don't think uh, of him either that way. But I just wanted so, to know so who the this guessing game. Yeah. No, it's like the thing is, I, I did, I, <laughs> okay, I did spend some time with Amit Shah during the election campaign, and I, I, as a matter of fact, as a matter of fact, my wife asked me the first day that I came back from a plane, having spent a day with him. I said, "How was he like?" And I said, "If you ask me quite honestly, he's like a management guru, except he speaks in Hindi." And trust me, you know, he's bright as a button. Yeah, he, he, he's, he's very bright. And uh, he's smart. And, you know, and the, the thing is, in the, the days that I spent with him on the plane from morning to evening or whatever, I asked him a lot of very, very difficult, impertinent, rude questions. And he doesn't have to really engage with me. He doesn't have to call me and ask me to sit next to him. But he actually spent time explaining to me some of the reasons why he does what he does. Why he did, why he, what he did. And like, I, can you give an example? I think it'll be well, only if you want to actually. Well, you know, I don't want. It's, to, it's like, I don't want you to say see, anything no, which I, will I, compromise. I cannot, I cannot say a lot of things purely because I, yeah. as a photographer, yeah. have a non-disclosure agreement yeah. with various people. So I can only tell you the things I do. But most of the things that he's done in the recent past are things that I knew in May. But in May, I didn't know that they were coming to power. I, in my wildest dreams, I had never imagined that they would come. With such, like I, I believe that he's not evil. Okay, I'll be very straightforward. Do you agree with that view? I don't think he's evil at all. I just think he ha he's a personal ideology, and these people, I mean, this party does believe whatever they're doing, they're doing it for the best of the country. They they do not country or Hindus country. I think well, uh, I, are they I, past I the Hindu assume, battle? I, I really think you know, at the risk of stretching myself, I think that yes, they believe what they're doing is for the best of the country. And whether you and me agree with that point of view or not, because a lot of what has happened in the recent past, I am not comfortable with that. But you know, but when you sit with them and when you ask them the questions, Tapan, 
they give you and saloni says i get swayed away but you know i have head on my shoulder i don't really get swayed away but somebody gives me logic to why they're doing an x y or z thing i tend to maybe get a little maneuvered as they say <laughs>